Greetings. My name is Misha Learaby, and I'm a Regional Literacy Coordinator for the Mississippi Department of Education. Today, we are going to discuss the Literacy Focus of the Month in action. October's focus is vocabulary and word attack strategies. The State Board of Education's vision and mission. Vision, to create a world-class educational system that gives students the knowledge and skills to be successful in college and the workforce, and to flourish as parents and citizens. Mission, to provide leadership through the development of policy and accountability systems so that all students are prepared to compete in the global community. State Board of Education Goals, five-year strategic plan for 2016 through 2021. All students proficient and showing growth in all assessed areas. Every student graduates high school and is ready for college and career. Every child has access to a high quality early childhood program. Every school has effective teachers and leaders. Every community effectively uses a world-class data system to improve student outcomes and every school and district is rated C or higher. Our session goals. Our first session goal is the literacy focus of the month purpose. Next, to examine the research on vocabulary knowledge. To discuss ways students acquire new vocabulary and to explore vocabulary and word attack activities. The purpose of the Literacy Focus of the Month is to provide guidance to administrators and teachers for supporting a monthly school-wide instructional focus based on best practices and research-based strategies in literacy. The Literacy Focus for October is Vocabulary and Word Attack Strategies. The Importance of Vocabulary Vocabulary research says that vocabulary is the glue that holds stories, ideas, and content together, making comprehension accessible for students. The number of words that students need to learn is exceedingly large. On average, students should add 2,000 to 3,000 new words a year to their reading vocabularies. Vocabulary experts agree that adequate reading comprehension depends on a person already knowing between 90 and 95 percent of the words in a text. Vocabulary acquisition. Students add words to their own vocabulary in two ways. New words are added through intentional vocabulary instruction and incidental vocabulary learning. Intentional instruction. Exposure to words through direct, explicit instruction. Fewer words, but deeper knowledge. Instruction in word learning strategies. Prioritizing vocabulary instruction. An emphasis on tier two words. Incidental learning, the indirect exposure to words. Most words are learned this way. The independent use of word learning strategies and exposure to all tiers. When deciding on words to teach intentionally, words must be prioritized. Words can be classified by the three tiers of vocabulary. Explicit vocabulary instruction should consist mainly of tier two words. Tier one is the basic everyday familiar words and tier three is the domain-specific academic vocabulary. Vocabulary, activities and strategies. One vocabulary strategy is the use of interactive word walls. A word wall is a systematically organized collection of words displayed in large letters on a wall or other large display place in the classroom. It is a tool to use, not just to display. Interactive word walls incorporate morphological instruction, apply context clues, 
and they are meant for daily interaction. When creating interactive word walls in your classroom, be selective. Use tier two and tier three words. Add words gradually. Five to 10 vocabulary words may be taught, but you want to post the words you want them to use on the word wall. You may teach 10 words and only post five. Make it visually appealing. Use it for class games, student writing, etc. Insist on correct spelling of word wall words. The PAVE map. The PAVE procedure was developed to encourage students to check the dictionary definition against the context in which the word appeared. It also helps students remember word meanings by associating the word with a visual image. PAVE stands for the four parts of the procedure, prediction, association, verification, and evaluation. Here is an example of a PAVE map using the target word VISTA. The Freyer model is a graphic organizer used for word analysis and vocabulary building. This four square model prompts students to think about and describe the meaning of a word or concept by defining the term, describing its essential characteristics, providing examples of the idea, and offering non-examples of the idea. Here is an example of a Freyer model that can be used to scaffold and deepen students' understanding of the word quiver. These graphic organizers can be used in any subject area. Some ideas for assessment include posting a completed model, presenting a model orally, or publishing a class dictionary. A concept map is a visual organizer that can enrich students' understanding of a new concept. Most concept map organizers engage students in answering questions such as, what is it? What is it like? What are some examples? Concept maps deepen understanding and comprehension. Here is an example of a concept map using the word mausoleum. As you can see, on a concept map, we include the word, the definition, what it is like, and some examples. Remember, Students' word knowledge is linked strongly to academic success because students who have large vocabularies can understand new ideas and concepts more quickly than students with limited vocabularies. Here are some additional resources. If you need any further information about the October Literacy Focus of the Month, please contact. Greetings, my name is Melissa Beck and I serve as a literacy coach with the Mississippi Department of Education. This month's Literacy Focus of the Month deals with vocabulary instruction and word attack strategies. Explicit vocabulary instruction is important across the content areas because these are words that students need to know to be able to read the passage. One strategy that can be used to assist students in uncovering the meaning of words is called a PAVE map. This strategy is located on page 27 of the Secondary Literacy Focus of the Month manual. The PAVE map includes seven sections. Context sentence, target word, definition, dictionary definition, um, sentence, revised sentence, and mental image. This strategy include, 
guides students to uncover the meaning of words by using context to predict and evaluation to confirm boosting vocabulary instruction in grades 6 through 12. To complete this activity, students must have a pave map and a dictionary or glossary, and they must be familiar with context clues. Good afternoon, class. We're going to discuss a PAVE procedure. A PAVE map is where you predict the meaning of the word based on context clues. You're associating the word with a mental image. You're verifying the word's meaning by con consulting a dictionary or a glossary, and then you're going to evaluate the prediction. So what we're going to do is we're going to locate a sentence in a text that we are reading. We're going to isolate the vocabulary word. Then we're going to predict the meaning of that vocabulary word based on context clues. And we covered context clues last week. I put the chart up so you can refer to it. If you remember, there are six different types of context clues, and we will discuss those if needed. Then you're going to write a good sentence using the word that demonstrates your understanding of that meaning. Once you do that, we're going to consult the dictionary, and we're going to decide, we're going to evaluate if your definition of the word was correct. Then we're going to look at another sentence that contains the vocabulary word based on a verified definition. And then we're going to draw a picture or a personal association or a mental image for you to be able to remember the definition of that word. So we're going to look at this paragraph right here. And this is coming from the American Revolution. And it says, again, in 1777, the late arrival of Howe's reinforcements and store ships gave Washington time that he sorely needed. Men to form the new Continental Army came, and slowly, and not until June, did the Americans have a face of 8,000. On the northern line, the defenses were even more thinly manned. Supplies for troops in the field were also short, but the arrival of the first three ships bearing secret aid from France vastly improved the situation. They were evidence of the covert support of the French government. So we're going to look at the word covert. That's going to be the vocabulary word we're going to discuss. So the sentence that we're going to pull is, they were evidence of the covert support of the French government. So in block one, you put your sentence. In our second block, we're going to put the target word. Can anyone remind me what I told you the target word was going to be? Sir? Covert. Covert. Thank you. Now we're going to predict the meaning. What do you think that covert means? Yes, sir? Like undercover. Okay. Undercover. Good. Anyone else have an idea of what they think covert may mean? Okay, so now we're going to use this word, covert, in a sentence. Can anyone provide me a sentence meet with using undercover as the meaning of covert to use? Okay, let me give you an idea. You could have maybe a covert agent, kind of like the Secret Service. Or you could possibly have maybe covert military operations. Okay? Yes, ma'am. The spy with covert information. Okay. The spy was covert in his mission. Now, let me ask you. Does that tell us what covert means, meaning undercover? Yes or no? Does that sentence tell us? No. But we can add to it. How can we define covert adding on to that sentence? The spy was covert, covert in his mission by? Um, secretly, secretly hiding and pushing. Okay, good. By secretly hiding in bushes. Now, does that define what covert using our sentence? Yes. Okay, good. So now let's look in the dictionary. Can somebody... Open up your dictionary and find covert for me. First one to find it. Raise your hand and tell me what the definition is. Yes, 
Yes, ma'am, in the back. One that, oh wait, it says one that is con converted. One that is converted. Okay, is that the definition that you have, ma'am? Um, no, um, I have a hiding place concealing the bus. Okay, a hiding place. Concealing device. Does anyone else see a different definition? Yes, sir. A uh, feather covering the bases of the wheels of the wings on and tail of a bird. Okay, so a covering on a bird. Okay, so we'll put covering. Anyone else see a different definition? Okay, good. So we've located in the dictionary that covert is can be a hiding place. A concealing device or something that conceals or hides you or covering that's covering up a bird like its feathers. Okay, so now let's include a revised sentence using that dictionary definition. Okay, let me give you some samples of things you could possibly use. You could possibly talk about a covert camera. Have you ever heard of a nanny cam? Where people who have babies leave a camera in there and they're trying to um, watch what the nanny's doing, they're spying. Okay, so that's a possibility. That would be something that was hiding or concealed. Okay, can you think of another sentence using that covert? Yes, sir. Um, okay, um, it won't be seen in the Jurassic Park. Uh, the children were. Um, hiding by uh, okay well you're saying somewhere at the park the kids were hiding okay so let's think about he's saying at the park kids were hiding so how can we use covert what were they hiding under or behind let's build off of his sentence okay a building all right so we can say The kids used a building as their covert hiding spot. Does everybody agree on that sentence? Sound good to y'all? Okay, now, looking at the sentence that we originally provided, did the definition of covert change of a hiding place being secret, undercover? No. So we, when we did our evaluation, we decided that we had a correct definition of covert, just using a synonym. Okay. So what we're going to do, I'm going to distribute to you document seven, and this comes from your social studies document-based activities. And you're going to read this paragraph with a partner, and you're going to complete a page map on the two words that I have underlined. If you forget what you need to do for a page map, I have them right here. So the first thing is you'll write the sentence that it comes from, then isolate the word, then predict, write your sentence, verify, write your other sentence. Oh, and I forgot the last piece, our visual image. When we're looking at this mental image of covert, what can I illustrate, what can I put? Yes. Um, uh, hats on a, I mean a teddy bear, Okay, so I'm going to draw this teddy bear here, and in his body I'm going to have a camera, because we're watching the nanny babysitting the little kids. Okay, will that help you remember what covert means? All right, good. So I'm going to distribute these. If you'll partner up with the people that you're sitting next to, and we will go from there. You're going to work on two page maps because there are two works. Once students are ready for independent practice, a teacher can distribute a page map and a content-specific passage and have students complete the thinking map as a pre-reading or during-reading vocabulary strategy. 
This activity can be extend, extended by having students present their findings on vocabulary words during the reading and by adding these words to a word wall. This strategy can be used in any content area.